Good morning, everyone. Meaty Panda here, and welcome back to Valheim. Made a little bit of progress on the house since I've shown it last, so I'll show you this now while I'm running around it on fire, hoping I don't burn it down. But yeah, I did raise that floor up, if you didn't notice. About uh, raise it up a full short wall. That was how I ended up balancing it out, but it's coming together. I actually don't mind sleeping here anymore. So there's that, and after that last attack, I did put up a little wall there just to kind of gauge how much wood it would actually cost me to fully wall off and it will be a lot so basically in other words before I even really start that venture I want to increase my means of production it will just make everything easier I know I'm still just starting out here I still haven't even gotten into mining or anything like that yet so I'm assuming there's bronze and copper and so on but for today it is time to go to the black forest still have not been there much but i definitely think that my equipment is good enough might want a shield for skeletons yet But I think I'll be all right. There's really only one way to find out, though. So, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, I think I'm coming up on the edge of the Black Forest here. Getting the uh, next tier mob. Blue-eyed ones. The color's changing a little bit. Not quite so much black or red in there, but I do remember that happening last time as well. So... Oh, yes, and my location has changed in my minimap already as well. Only two? No, it's not that bad. And a three. All right, I've got a second. Let's see what this actually says. Let all who read me be aware of the gray dwarfs. The skulkers in darkness, the soulless ones, they are born from rot and rainfall. They spring like mushrooms from the smoking soil. There is nothing on their tongues or behind their eyes. Those who fear nothing should still fear them. When the soul of a murderer or a great sinner rots under the ground, it makes a hollow cyst which draws rock and wood and moss to it. It gathers up the peat into flesh, braids reeds into bone, it takes rags for skin. Mm. It should not walk, but when the night comes, it walks. Should you read this, see one with a sword to your hand, lance it and let it out, or put it to the torch, for it fears the flame. Well, that was neat. I had actually thought about that back in the first episode and asked if anyone knew the lore behind the Grey Dwarves, because I was just kind of curious, and there it is. Yeah, now somehow I've ended back up in the meadows. That's not the plan here. Okay. Hm. I guess I'm going to turn back around and see you guys in a bit. Okay, so I do believe this is close to the, uh, the initial location that I ran into the Black Forest. Just to run back out. So, I think I'm actually going to try heading back in that way. Why not? His name is John Cena! Nope. And what do we have here? Ooh. This is prime real estate, my friends. This looks like it is quite literally on the edge of the Black Forest here. Hmm. Yeah. 
I I, I got to do something with this. Even if it's just a quick bed if I need one. If the forest starts moving again while I'm in it, it's, I don't know, it's something. This may actually even be a good spot to hold up tonight. I looked at the map and home is a little farther back than I actually thought it was. So, But it's definitely going to need another room or another floor. Mm, yeah, probably another room. Which is still more time than I actually wanted to dedicate to it right now. But Okay, now that is done. Got the little addition on the back. Should be plenty of room. It's time to go. And a skeleton holding down the gate. I'm going to regret not bringing a shield pretty fast, I bet. Ow. Mm. Did not see him back there. That hurt a little bit. Oh, yep. Nope. Spear's not going to do it here, is it? Definitely need blunt weapons on the skeletons. Oh, dungeons, you say? Oh, wait, no, literally right here. Awesome. That's a very unexpected surprise. I know he said to bring a light source, and I'm not really that far into it, but there's plenty of light coming in so far. Might not be that bad. Hmm. Now that I've just kind of walked in, I don't really feel prepared, so... Oh, aren't wasting any time, are we? Let's get right to it. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> not today. Nope. I have not died yet. I was not dying that way. Whew. Well, that was that was pretty close, though. <laughs> One more hit. Might have done it. Damn. Rough first burial ground. I, that definitely was not prepared. Uh, my health wasn't full, and I should have brought a shield. Yep, see, we are a long ways away from home. Hmm. Happy I just popped that tower up. It looks like that's going to be where I'm staying tonight. I didn't actually throw down a bed yet, or finish the floor, or put in a fireplace, so. Let's see if I can get that done before the sun actually goes all the way down, yep. All right, and the Black Forest base is livable. And I think this is day 12 or 13 now. Cannot remember. Uh, 13, yep. Tidy up here real quick, and it's time to go back towards another burial ground. I didn't die yesterday, so there was no hard lesson learned. Why not? Got to be something good in there. Pretty foggy day out today, and been running by a lot of stuff just like that. Kind of still sticking on the outskirts, running along the meadows right now. Gonna try to just plunge in a little deeper without fighting a mob to get to it. Man, it's looking like that didn't work. That or everything I've ran past is just kind of catching back up with me now. I honestly wouldn't doubt that. Oh, man. Yep, here they come. I'm still technically in the meadows, so maybe running along the edge was not the best idea. 
I think I might have pulled. Hey, well, here we go. All right, it was worth it in the long run. There we go. I was hoping my health would go back up a little bit more. Just in case I'm walking right into two or three skeletons again. Alright, let's give this a mulligan. Now oh, there's one, maybe two. Yep, I see two sets of eyes. Okay, same thing running back at me. Shield, no shield. We got this. There we go, just block. There we go. Wait, wait, wait. Is that... Oh, man. Nope, nope. Oh, God. No! Oh! Jump! Oh, man. Oh, I should not be alive right now. There is no way I should be alive right now. Woo! Wow. Who needs a shield, he says. Who? Oh, man. But no. No, I have not had enough. Being the glutton for punishment that I am, I will be back. All right, we are back, better fed and ready to go. Going in with a health level of 82. Big improvement on the last one. It's got to be, oh, whoa, wait, what? Okay, keep going, keep going. Oh, man, I did not know this was troll territory. Huh, okay, yep, definitely don't want to forget this one. <laughs> Let's put a marker down somewhere. Um, What's, yeah, okay. I am not worried about you, little buddy. Yeah, it is not you at all. Maybe maybe I should just run in. That might actually be the safest thing to do here. <laughs> it's not really paying too much attention to me. There we go. I think that seems a little more fitting for a troll. Get rid of that if we can. Oh, yep. Cool. Yeah, okay, he's not paying attention anymore. All right, let's deal with you real quick. Why not? Third time the charm, right? See if that's actually got any merit to it right here. Oh, hey, hey, so far so good. I am liking this. Nothing is rushing me. I just kind of get a minute to look around on loop. This is what's up. Ooh, first chest. Okay, Ruby. Amber. And what was that gold? Yeah, okay. Hmm. I'm not really expecting to find equipment, like usable equipment, but I haven't ruled it out as a possibility. There we go. Just keep them clumped up, congested, and swing at them. Swinging through them is pretty nice. Just kind of stun all of them at once when you get lucky. Got to kind of start paying a little more attention now, though. Whittling me down a little bit. Hey, that's actually a pretty healthy mushroom. Nice. And what have we here? It looks nice. Ooh, it is nice. Awesome. Okay, so I've got the antler pickaxe. Now I obviously have one of the resources required for a smelter and a furnace. Now I just need to find some more. I really haven't seen anything remotely close in the meadows. I guess I really haven't looked hard enough in Black Forest. I've probably walked right over some and not known it. Um, hmm. Maybe I should check the water streams. I really didn't expect to find Flint there, so I might find some more there too, I guess. Oh, yeah. I still have. Okay. So I've got a lot more to go through in here. Awesome. Oh, this might hurt. Ouch. Yep. Hopefully I can find more of these cores. Looks like I can carry ten, and I've got two. I'm assuming it's going to take more than one to make a smelter in a furnace. Maybe not. But if I found two already, they might not be that that rare. Oh, doors, doors, doors. Starting to get lost by the doors. And yeah, I really don't feel like going down to a lower level right now. Had enough fun up here so far. 
It's too bad that none of these skeletons have dropped any of their shields. I mean, I guess it really does not take that much to make one. I just have not wanted to run all the way back to the workbench to do so. But... Hell yeah, not only did we clear our first burial grounds, but I was also never at risk for death. <laughs> Third time really must be the charm. Proves it. I think I'm gonna, yeah, there we go. I'm gonna switch out those markers, keep using those for my burial grounds. Okay, now that I've conquered some of the subterranean, it's time to head out and actually, I'm. it is my goal, I have to find some ore to mine. Bottom line, it, it is definitely time for an upgrade in equipment. I can already tell. I still haven't found any mineable resources yet. I don't know if I'm just walking right past some, which I mean, I, I guess I very well could be. I'm not entirely sure what to look for. I'm expecting like, well, not that. That's just kind of like a big blob on the hillside, but cool. So is this little tower down here that is completely surrounded. Huh. Definitely do not want to forget about that. Yeah, I'll go back to it at some point. But yeah, okay, there's copper. Awesome, mystery solved. I kept going a little bit just to see that now that I know what I'm looking for, how common it is. And yeah, there's actually, there's a decent amount of copper out here. So awesome. Still no tin yet. Um, copper doesn't usually play a big part in games. Usually gets out phased by bronze pretty fast. So I'm assuming just as soon as I get this copper done, I'm probably going to need tin as well. I definitely should not throw mining in on a day where I'm going underground. My weight really isn't terrible, but I just, there's so much in my inventory right now. Oh, okay. Mining is a slow one. This will be fun. Luckily enough for you guys, I'll catch up with you in a, here in a bit when I'm done. Well, I was not able to grab much copper. I think I only got, yep, three pieces of ore. I didn't actually get a piece of copper per section mined, so that might be due to low level. I'm not entirely sure, but yeah, a lot of it came back out in stone. Okay, and as for the furnace and smelter, hmm, okay, five cores a piece, so I need ten. All right. So I definitely need to go back through the burial grounds that I already visited earlier, get a little deeper in, and if I got two out of that one alone, it might not be too bad to pull in eight more. I've just kind of been doing some chores inside the home, and I think I heard another visitor. Yep, All right, here we go. I do not know what it is about this little section of roof, but they just, they, they love to hang out here. It's different. First, I thought they were going for the source of uh, the fire, the fire pit over there, but... I don't know. It's just odd. I think this is the third time it's happened since the uh, first force is moving event. And yeah, they don't normally put up much of a fight until they get knocked back down to the ground. But anyway, moving along. It's time to make myself a shield. I'll see you guys in the morning, ready to tackle another burial ground. Hopefully pull out eight more of these sterling cores. Get the forge and the furnace going. And I see no reason not to start with the BG closest to the little Black Forest base here. Okay, and this time I'm making it past the first room. <laughs> I swear. Nope, not ready for me this time. That's right. Come on. Come on. Oh, come on. Don't, 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 don't make me go first, please. I don't like tight spaces. Oh, I think we get... Yeah, there we go. One of them? Yep, there's one. Nope, there's two. Oh, awesome. 
awesome. That's a full damage block. I wasn't sure if it would be. It should be. It looks like I just strung straight up logs together. But awesome. Very effective. Ooh. Doorways do get pretty awkward. Luckily, you can just kind of swing through them still. But, yeah, these skeletons just aren't even much of an issue with this shield anymore. Not at all. Not having the torch is really just a minor inconvenience. It doesn't bother me that much. I haven't adjusted the darkness or anything, so. Come on, I saw you lurking over there. There you go, step to me. Yep, that's right. Those arrows do still hurt. Any damage that gets through still hurts, but... Mm. This one is actually pretty big. It's got a lot of open rooms in it so far. Ooh, and it's got a, quite a few busy rooms in it so far as well. I like it though. Oh, I don't know what's going on back here though. This is different. People bone pile. Oh, okay. It spawns them in. Oh, that's, that's, that's cool. So I can actually clear this out. Okay, it definitely does seem to be getting darker in here, though. I don't know if that little evil bone pile actually gave off some light, but... Alright, it is dark now. The mushrooms are handy for light. It's kind of nice. There we go. Pretty sure it should be clear through here anyways, so... These chests have been my main source of feathers, though, as odd as that is. And I think the only recipe that I've noticed them being useful in is the flaming arrows, which could be quite useful, but... These short little chambers kind of bug me a bit. Almost just seems a little lazy in the level design. Oh, cool. Didn't expect this behind the second door, but awesome. There's a core back there. There you go. Be gone now. Ooh, and another one I saw right back behind me. Awesome. Two for one. Still need six more. probably get two more in here if I'm lucky, I bet. This crypt has been heavy. Three of these evil bone spawn piles, which I hadn't even noticed until now. Oh, score, look at that. Oh, wait, what, why am I sorting these when there's a take all, right? Hmm. Oh! What did I say, two more if I was lucky? I'm either lucky or they're not that rare. Either way, I'll take it. Still kind of surprised I didn't notice that one when I was looting that chest, though. I was almost looking right at it. Alright, this one's almost cleared. Alright, hopefully I don't jinx myself, but if I'm really, really lucky, I'll get two more on this wing here, too.
plenty of these mushrooms, which is awesome. They've become a staple in my diet. If I can get a neck tail, grilled meat, and these yellow mushrooms, it keeps my health up in the 90s. It's awesome. Okay, well, my luck didn't hold out on this end, but I'm still happy with it. Four is not bad. Still got two at home, so four more. And there's still one crypt nearby, so I'll see you guys there in a bit. Okay, here we go. Well, like I've said, they haven't seen that rare, so we're guaranteed to at least find two in here. Fool me once. Shame on you. Fool me three or four times. Yep. Well, this wing was pretty bleak. Hopefully this one's a little bit better. I don't know why, but I feel compelled to do the left and the right before I do the end. Ah, oh man. Striking out so far. Oh, well, here we go. Oh, I didn't even notice that third one for a second. He kind of blended in with his buddy there. I think they both archers. Yeah. Can't let them double up on me. I could take me down pretty fast. Yep, okay. Let's pull them to me, maybe. Yep, awesome. Ooh. Oh, yeah. That would have almost killed me right there. That would have left me with, like, four health. The inventory is full up. But most of the loot seems to be the same, so it's just kind of stacking on itself. All right, come on. There's got to be a core in here somewhere. This wing's definitely got a lot of skeletons in it. They gotta be guarding something. Hmm. Okay, ouch. I need them to separate just a little bit. No, 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 not that much. I don't need your archer buddy to just shoot me while I fight you. Yep, ah, uh, okay. This time I'm not right, be patient, wait for the arrows. There we go. Ah, oh, nothing. Just more mushrooms. Oh, wait. Oh, uh, yep. Okay, that was a door. Huh. Just barely saw that. Okay, time to make the descent. Gotta be some... Ah. Uh, nope. Gotta be a dead end. I don't think I went this way yet. No? Obviously not. Nothing yet again. Mm, okay. It is not looking good for those last two cores. Napping on the job. That's what he gets. Well, ouch. Okay, I think I'm just going to stay out and go through one more. It makes more sense as opposed to going back to a base, resting, and coming back out. Just gonna hit it while I'm out here. And I've decided I'm going to go to the crypt that had the troll lingering around because, you know, that sounds like a good idea at night. Why not? Hopefully he's taking a nap or just, yeah, there we go, off in the back. Not paying any attention. That's probably for the best. Okay, this has got to be the last one. 
I'm kind of hoping I won't actually have to come back down here for a bit after I get these two cores. I mean, I'm not really finding any other new resources down here or anything. So, if that's the only use for those cores, this will probably be it. Oh, there's one. Okay, one more. One more. Keep my fingers crossed. There we go. I think this is normally a pretty good sign. Or a safe sign. No, oh, he's not normal. Can't be. Nope. Rancid remains. Pretty cool. I bet he does some sort of lingering damage if he hits me. Looks like it. Pestilence or poison something. Come on, guys. There you go. Nope. He tried. Nope. Damn. This one actually ended up being kind of loaded. Yep. Definitely will not have to worry about these cores for a while. Awesome. And now for the fun journey home. I had plenty of time to think about where I was actually going to put all this on the way back. And yep, just kind of decided right back here. This used to be just bulk wood and stone storage. But I figured that would actually be a good spot for the furnace and smelter. And here we are. Furnace and smelter. I can already tell I'm going to want another smelter, but one will do for now. It kind of seems to be an even one coal to one ore ratio to refine, so that would probably also require a second furnace as well, unless I could get a bulk supply of coal beforehand. But And now I've got a bunch of mining to do and catch up on. Another pretty exciting episode. I actually got a lot done this time. I'd like to thank everyone again for watching. If you're still here watching, thank you. And until next time, later.